but you're as the president of IMSA, you're around racers. You've been around racers all your career. And you know that racers sometimes, um, well, they can be scoundrels and scallywags and cutthroat competitors who just as soon throw you under the transporter as share a cup of coffee with you. How in the world can you be such a nice guy around all those folks? Well, uh, first of all, yeah, they, they, uh, they all have opinions. That's for sure. Um, and uh, it comes in in a lot of fashions, whether it's a in-race uh, ruling or BOP before or after a race. There's there's a lot of things for that. But I think, um, and we have a saying here, which I have come to to know and love. And I think it carries back. We didn't necessarily say it in my previous life on the OEM side, but you know the market will speak, and um, we we want to do what's right for for the audience for the the sport to grow. Uh, so we'll take and have open ears at all times. Um, and at some point, you got to make a decision. Um, so it, it's absolutely uh, great for people to share their ideas and thoughts. But the, the, in the end, the market will speak. And as we've developed rules and, and new classes and these new cars that we're going to launch this weekend, um, you know, the market spoke, the OEMs made commitments, the the engine builders uh, made commitments, uh, the hybrid powertrain partners made commitments. So in the end, um, certainly hear everybody out, um, but uh, you know, at, at some point we need to make the best decision for the sport and for the growth of the sport. But you're hundred percent right. Uh, there are occasions that it becomes a, uh, a little bit of a daycare center. <laughs> <laughs> 